We've got baseball. It's the Los Angeles Angels against the Chicago White Sox. All game long here on 2K Sports. A good afternoon. It's a Thursday here on 2K Sports. We've got baseball. A look at Urban Santana. He'll be bringing his stuff to the mound for this game. They love being here and they're ready to cheer. Over 40,000 in their seats. The starting pitching will see Jared Washburn. Steve will be watching how he approaches this Angels lineup. A good looking lefty on the mound right here against the lineup that can put some runs up on the board. So pretty even matchup. So it's going to come down to which side executes better than the other. Pepsi presents our starting lineup. Here's what Mike Sosha's offense looks like. Eric Guybar leading it off. Last night the Angels losing. Chance here to even up the series if they can win it 1-1 against the White Sox. And as if you might have expected, I know that the fans did, this team is still early on in the season leading their division. Swung on, soft liner to the right side. And he's on. That's a nice way to jumpstart your offense. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. Thoughts, Steve? Anybody stand out? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Oh, and there goes Ibar. And he is safe at second. Washburn set and delivers. And Tian with the catch. Now the runner will have to hold at second. And fans look out for next Tuesday. It'll be Kevin Euclid and the Boston Red Sox as they take the trip to Tampa Bay to face the Rays. Start time, 7 o'clock Eastern. Well, I guess, look, if you and John are going to be at that one, I want to go do that game, too, because that looks like it's going to be a good one. It's Morales at the plate. Oh, the 2009 Angels really able to manufacture runs against the American League Central last year and pretty much had their way with them. Two down here in the inning. And against the American League Central for the Angels, the 10 above 500 mark, uh, including... Uh, some pretty big wins against tough teams at the top of the Central. Well, they sure did. You know, you talk about the Kansas City Royals, 9-1 and one against them. They did what they had to do against a team that's not that good in that. Now swinging a shot toward second. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. And the White Sox, their first chance is coming. And out on the mound, we'll see Urban Santana will be the starter for Anaheim. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Uh, Urban Santana has some explosive stuff. Health has been a problem for him in the past, but when he's healthy, he's got some of the best stuff around. An explosive moving fastball and a nasty break and pitch as well that really keep the hitters off balance. Damon swings and misses for strike one. Batting average, 247 off the Angels. Swing and a drive, deep left center. This one finds its way around, rolling all the way to the wall. Pulls into second with that double, so he's in scoring position now with nobody out. Alexi Ramirez. Well, these kind of hits right here, a double with no outs to start an inning really puts the pitcher at a disadvantage and puts a lot of added pressure on that pitcher. Now a single can bring home a run. Line shot into center field. One away. Runner on seconds go stay right there. One away. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, when you watch Johnny Damon, you don't want to emulate his swing. It's not one of the prettiest swings you ever see in baseball, but it is one of the more effective ones. He's got power. He can hit for average. And when he gets on base, he's a threat to steal. Tries to get back. Out. Close play at second. Oh and one Santana kicks and deals strike two no balls and two strikes Conurco now will look to tighten up that zone they had two hits in the game last night looking to add to that today and trying to contribute to his club success 
in, out of the inning. Six pitches and it's over. And for those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crock and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Washburn set and delivers. That misses inside, 1-0. Now the 1-0 pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. That retires Rivera. Number 44. It's going to be Napoli. He's two for ten lifetime against Jared Washburn. That ball swung on, hit. Rios to field it. That one's glove. And it's Bobby Abreu now. Now, if you saw the game last night, you saw what a disappointing day he had at the plate, striking out three times in that one. Let's see if he can turn it around today. Swung on, that is hit. The throw. And that's in plenty of time for the out. And a quick inning for Jared Washburn. And he's off to a commanding start. And it'll be the White Sox. Part of the order due to bat next. Playing under some nice weather today, at least cool weather. Still need to keep those pitching hands warmed up. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. He's number one in runs scored in the league. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0 and 1. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. He swings and nails a liner. And Quinton's got himself a base hit. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. He's also a hit machine leading the league in hits right now. Swinging the bat well. Every time he puts it in play, he seems to find a hole. That one swung on its line. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. And Alex Rios up. And one of the top ten averages right now. There's a swing. Line drive. Center field. And it's in there. That hitting streak continues. Quickly, let's check out the league leaders and runs batted in brought to you by State Farm. Well, these are the guys that make the most money because they're the ones who impact the game in a big way, driving in the critical runs that lead to a team success. Gary, they're looking for Urban Santana to get out of this, to make a decision and go right at the hitter. And he's in a whole lot of trouble right here, Steve. You got the bases loaded. This ball game is tied, but maybe not for long. Well, it's still early. If they can get the double play, even if a run scores, they would absolutely take that. Hit hard to second. Up with it now. That's one out. And that's two. A double play. And he scores. And there's our first run of the game, a one nothing ball game. Nice play, especially on the relay to first. 4-6-3. Uh, it's textbook right there. Taylor made double play. Hit it where they are and turn it. Martian looking to knock in a run. In the top ten and hits. Santana sets and throws. That one goes foul. That one's drilled to short. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. A strike here in the second, getting a run across. The White Sox have the lead, one to nothing. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Guillen. He got what he needed out of his lineup that last time through. This lead now something he can try to protect if he can get some solid pitching. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. See if he can't continue what he did last night when he picked up a couple hits. 
No balls, one strike. Washburn to left center. Damon able to pull that one in. One away. And we've got a Sturis batting. Well, one area the Chicago White Sox are looking to see some improvement over 2009 is, is their team defense has got to get better. Swung on and hit. It's going to be Quentin. And that'll set down as Turris. Two away. Well, the White Sox defensively, 113 errors, second worst in the American League. You are not going to win baseball games when you're giving up all those extra chances and outs. Well, no, not in that division and not in any division, especially in the American oh. League, where the DH is, is so prevalent because the more at bats you let these good hitters get the top of the order, the middle of the orders, you keep turning the lineup over by making errors, the more oh, chance your pitchers are going to give up a lot of runs. And that's what happened to this Chicago White Sox team in 2009. Well, John, in addition to the defense, I mean, they're on the ground to short, fielded by Ramirez. Throws on to first side is retired. And they're unable to make any noise here in this half inning. The shutout is still in progress here at U.S. Cellular Field. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crock and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Coleman. It's going to be Knicks now. Santana's pitch swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Well, I fooled him right there. That two seam fastball has to be down in the zone to be effective, but it looked like he was looking for a different pitch. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strung him out one down. Well, that's what you want is efficiency. You always want to try to retire a hitter on three pitches or less. If you can get it with the strikeout, you'll take that too. And it's Johnny Damon now. He doubled his last time. First pitch on the way to Damon. Santana's pitch swung on and missed. Going one. Now take a look at Johnny Damon's approach at the plate. He's a slasher in there. He this one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Rivera to field this one. Able to glide over. Not much of a problem on that one. Here's how the Western Division is stacking up. We get to the heart of the baseball season. The look brought to you by State Farm. First place, the Angels. Mariners in second place. In third, it's the A's. And it's the Rangers in fourth. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. <laughs> now Napoli sets the target. Swung and a fly ball. <laughs> and a foul ball. Now swing and a shot towards second. He'll throw one to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. Three up, three down. It is Mike Sosia you're looking at. And right now, his team trailing by a run, figuring out the necessary pieces of the puzzle to get this thing at least tied up. And he starts Kendrick out. That one gets passed, but no damage done. Here's Washburn, 1 0 pitch. In there at the letters, evening the count at 1 and 1. Into the fourth inning, clearly pitching dominating this lineup right now. Like he's only given up one hit, and they just have not had quality at bats against him. He's making it look easy. Streak continues. That gets in. Now that will bring up Kendry Morales. The, the Central Division First race is starting to take shape. Eight. Let's take a look at the State Farm standings board. First place, the White Sox. In second place, it's the Royals. Third belongs to the Twins. Tigers in fourth place. And down at the bottom, the Cleveland Indians. Not a lot of expectations in Chicago this year, but the White Sox surprising everybody. Sitting atop of Hit on the ground over to shortstop. He grabs it off the hop. And there's one. And they get two. Great double play. Well, here's a double play that looks like they ordered up. Great turn to throw to second base. He was ready to make the play. An example of a nicely executed double play. And Torrey Hunter up. He leads the American League in watch. Two outs and nobody on.
The pitch. Bats him out with a cut fastball for a strike. Here's the pitch. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Hunter, one of the good 0-2 hitters in baseball. This pitcher being very aggressive throwing strikes. I think he's going to try to get him to chase. That ball swung on. Hit. Rios to field it. That's caught. Side is retired. No runs. One hit. And no one left on base. The Angels still looking for a run. Things will start getting a little more difficult as we look to the third man to lead it off. Paul Kodarko to lead it off. First base, number 14, Paul Kodarko. And he starts Kodarko out. Swings and misses the slider, 0-1. Boy, he's got such great rotation on that slider. It's just unbelievable depth to that pitch. That's strike two. Hitter behind now on Santana. When you got a slider pitcher, his greatest fear is that that thing just swing liner back up the middle. And Kaderko's got himself a single. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Time to take a look at the on-base percentage leaders brought to you by State Farm. Getting on base is a philosophy. It's a mental state. It's a really an approach. And these guys understand that. They understand they have to do whatever they can to get on. They have the toughest at bats of any hitters in the major league. He's the league leader in hits. First pitch to Quinton. Hot shot towards the hole. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. He's also a hit machine leading the league in hits right now. Swinging the bat well. Every time he puts it in play, he seems to find a hole. And Beckham's in the box. Last year, 8 for 24 against the Angels. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Three big hits in that game last night. And they'd love to get that contribution again today. He makes contact, line drive. And it's in there. They're going to try and score Canerco. Canerco's going to try and score here. And Canerco will score. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. Number 51, Alex Rios. Uh, now he's surrendered three straight hits. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. He needs an out. Santana sets and throws. Head up the middle, Santana. So Rios is set down. Brief moment to see who's on top in our State Farm League leaderboard in hits. It's going to be Przinski. We got another shot after hitting into that double play last time up. Here's the first pick. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. 296 is average last year against the Angels. This one's grounded hard up the middle. And that ball gets through, and the runner's going to come home. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Third base. Number 25, Mark Tien. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. And two, they pull off the double play. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. White Sox up three. The five, six, seven hitters coming up. There's a familiar face, Isaac Gian looking up. This ball club has produced the offense necessary so far. His work now to make sure they keep this lead. Here's the pitch to Rivera. Cutter just misses. 1 0. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going. Only one runner left on base, so they just need more opportunities and see if they can't capitalize on it. The 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one pitch is a cut fastball taken for a strike. 1-2. and two. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And he'll step on first for out number one. 
Number it's got to be Napoli. Napoli. Base is empty, one out. Washburn set and delivered. Oh, one. That one is low, Napoli not biting. Good action on that cut fastball down in the zone. Hitter just laid off. Good cut fastball in there, one and one. One one pitch. One one pitch is a circle change that hits the target. One and two. Well, a change up right there hit a good spot. You want to keep that down in the zone, so even if they swing at it, it stays in the ballpark. Napoli will foul that one away. Another foul ball as Napoli digs in. And because the count's still one and two, I tell you what, this hitter still has to stay in this defensive mode. This is a pitcher that can strike you out, so you better be leery and just try to put the ball in play and hope you can get a base hit. In time for the out. And it's Bobby Abreu now. Two outs, base is empty. First pitch to Abreu. First pitch is outside, 1-0. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a miss by Abreu, and that'll even it up. Swing and a miss on that fastball, and it's 1-2. and two. On the ground to second. Beckham. And he throws on the first. That'll retire the side. No hits. Nobody left on. And a good defensive half inning. The White Sox maintaining their lead. It's going to be Nix now. Struck out swinging last time. Number five, Jason Nix. Here's the first pitch. Fastball swung out and missed. 0 1. Well, his last game came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a trip. And this rolls all the way to the wall. And he ends up at second. That's a double. Well, what a great swing right there. And anytime you can put yourself in scoring position with no outs, you're looking for big things to happen. So a runner in scoring position for Johnny Damon. Now Napoli sets the target. Swing and a line drive. And so Damon retired. Take a look at what's coming up for the Angels. We'll wrap up the Chicago series today. And they'll be taking on the Cardinals and a power bat in Ryan Ludwig. Boy, there's some great competition in that set of games. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They look to tip the balance against a team that looks pretty even against them on paper. The Toronto Jays. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. One of the best batting averages in the league. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Santana's pitch swung on and missed, going one. He deals. And he goes up the ladder for that one, comes up empty. Well, the pitcher has him right where he wants him, on the defensive. He could try to throw it out of the zone and get him to chase. A swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez is retired. Let's take another look at that pitch. It's a two-seam fastball in KK. RBI chance goes to Paul Canerco for leading the league in home run. Here's the pitch. Swings a little late that time. Strike one. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out. And a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Strike two. Strike two. No balls and two strikes. Conurco now will look to tighten up that zone. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. He got that slider in the strike zone. He got the hitter out in front to swing early. They get a man to third, but can't bring him home. White Sox three. The Angels nothing. We'll get a look at that leadoff hitter due up here in the inning. And you're looking at Mike Sosha. And some good pitching last inning. He now hopes to get the necessary offense going, get him going in the right direction. 
Washburn set and delivers. Fastball is high, 1-0. But Gary, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound. The defense has not felt that much pressure either. We had only one runner left on base, and you know we're moving through the middle part of this ball game. So you know they're doing a nice job shutting down this offense. One one on the way. This one swung on line towards the middle, and that's by him into center base hit. And that's going to bring his tourist to the plate and a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. This Los Angeles series ends today. And then they have to contend with Dan Ugla and the Marlins. That's a three game series. And then they'll grapple with another American League Central team. The Indians at Progressive Field. No one out and a runner on first. And the first pitch. Takes that one low and outside on one. A good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Here's the delivery. A line drive towards the hole. And Tian with the catch. And he'll have to hold at first. It's Ibar at the plate. Uh, coming off a good ball game last night, picking up two hits in that one. There's a swing towards the hole. That gets down. That'll put him on the tying run up. Now Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, even though they lost the last game, he had two big hits, and that's a good sign if you're the manager of this team that he's starting to swing the bat really well. So looking to capitalize on the RBI chances, Howie Kendrick. That one swung on its line. Two down. That keeps those runners at first and second. So they're shut down again. That's six shutout innings so far. The shutout is still in progress here at U.S. Cellular Field. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton, leading the MLB in batting average. Number 20, Carlos Quinton. First pitch to Quinton. Swung on and ripped towards second. Now breaking down Carlos Quinton's season so far, let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. He's also a hit machine, leading the league in hits right now, swinging the bat well. Every time he puts it in play, he's... That one swung on, hit in the air, deep to left field. One away. And that will hold him at first. Now batting for the Chicago White Sox. Here's a runner on for Alex Rios. Top five AL in runs scored. And he starts Rios out. Swing and a miss, and he's behind that pitch. 0 and 1. That's strike two. Hitter behind now on Santana. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. He strikes out Alex Rios with a swing and a miss. That's a pretty fast pitch right there. And hard to get that much break on it. First pitch, swing, shoots this one towards the gap, right center. And it's through into the gap, should be extra bases. The throw, Quinton around third, headed for the plate. And he gets there all the way from first. Openings for this lineup offensively, don't give it to him now, because they are hot. Well, this is a guy that no matter what the situation, he's looking for something out over the plate that he can drive. He got that pitch in on his hands a little bit, but give him credit, he was quick enough to turn on it to get that base knock. Takes a swing at that fastball, can't connect on one. Well, I tell you what, for a two-seam fastball, he had some good movement and good swings. Ball is clobbered high, deep to left center field. Over the wall, goodbye, a two-run homer. Every hitter has a hot zone where he can drive the ball. That one ended up right where he needed it. That two-seam fastball turned around quickly.
Now, White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Base is empty and two down. Jason Nick. Santana sets and throws. Can't connect. It's 0 and 1. Steve, this has been an unbelievable offensive show and contributing to it the long ball. Well, you're right. I mean, every single time the pitcher made a mistake, it's been getting knocked around the ballpark. Foul. And he fouls another one off. Well, anytime you're down 0 2, you, the bottom line is you want to be able to cover the whole plate. You line shot into center field, and it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. Now batting for the Chicago. What White more Sox. do you need to see? Now you have to question 18. his confidence, giving up three Johnny. straight oh, hits. Amen. Not much going right out there at this point. Runner on first now for Johnny Damon. One for six career numbers for him against Fernando Rodney. The pitch from Rodney. Damon swings and misses for strike one. I'll tell you what, four hits in a ball game last night. He really must be locked in. Here it comes. This ball is hammered deep right. And that's the third out. Abreu grabs it. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. A look at the manager, Ozzy Guillen. Right now his lineup is in overdrive. An exciting bit of run production. A good way to keep your manager happy. And the first pitch. There's a swing in contact. This one to Damon. And Morales retired. That's one away. And Torrey Hunter flew out last time. Back up the middle. Man, he has just mastered this offense in this ball game, and no signs he's letting up. Now he's been sharp all game long, but you just hope going through the order for the third time and the fourth time, guys don't start picking up on the tendencies. Base is empty with two outs. And Przinski calls for the pitch. Ball. And get him to chase that one outside. Ball one. A tremendous effort out on the mound in this one. We're deep into the ball game. I mean, we're getting close to the end of this one. They've only been able to get four hits Great against them, And he shut them down and kept them off the scoreboard. One one pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball, doesn't get to it, one and two. Well, he's got great movement on that two-seamer. It's one of the best around. There's a swing, fly ball down the line and left. That one falls in there for a base hit. This is a one-hopper off the wall. Not in time, way ahead of that play. Now up to the plate. Get to well, take a look at one here. They probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners 44. on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got the first base. That's how you get in safely to second. First pitch, here it comes. Swung on and missed, 0-1. Washburn set and delivers. Oh. Mike Napoli isn't fooled by that pitch, and the count is evened up. Ooh, he pulls the string with a circle change, one and two. Oh. Napoli will foul that one away. And the one-two delivery from Washburn. Struck him out. And now that's seven. Count him seven shutout innings going. I think he's got the stuff to do it, Gary. I think he wants to finish the rest of this game. He's got the legs. So Jared Washburn holding those runs down. This game seemingly out of reach. It's a matter of seeing if he can continue to pitch shutout baseball. He's got it through seven. Loosen him up. Seventh inning stretch time on the south. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Number 10, Alexei Ramirez. The pitch from Rodney probably should not have swung at that one. It's a strike, even though the ball was in the dirt. Ball. Looks at a ball, one and one. A two-seam fastball is such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs, but two, it sets up his other pitches. Line drive. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. 
Well, Alexi Ramirez's one. season so far, let's take a look at where he Number ranks 14. compared to everybody else. Fourth in doubles, fourth in hits. Uh, he, you'll notice he's also ranked in the top five in batting average. A guy that puts it in play, finds holes, and finds a way to get himself on base. And he starts Canerco out, and he gets this one by him on one. Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. That oh. one's lined out of play to the right. Here's a swing and a line drive. And Kaderko's got himself a single. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0 2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. First pitch to Quinton. And it goes foul. Fernando Rodney with strike two, maybe a K. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it, or he's got no chance to hit it. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. And Abreu's going to play it. And Ramirez is headed for third. And they get it. They turn two. Now up to the plate. Gary, we talk a lot about how important defense is to a team's success. That's living proof right there. And you keep this one in mind because it's an inning offensively that didn't happen. Runner on first, two away. First pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two-seam fastball. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Swung on line to right center field. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. And the throw. That Erko's going to try and score here. He throws, and they've got him in the pickle now. And the entertainment continues. Uh-oh, he's going back. There's the throw. Tag is there. He is out at the plate. So they pick up no runs, three hits, and leave one. The White Sox six, the Angels nothing. And it's Bobby Abreu now. 0 for 2 thus far. Number 53. Bobby Abreu. First pitch to Abreu. Called strike on the outside corner, 0 and 1. Look okay, here, listen, he's, he's made pitches. He's at, they've had a few base runners on against them, no question about it. They've gotten a few hits, but he's, he's been able to keep them from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept them off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. Washburn set and delivers. Straight away left. And that gets down. Abreu with a single. Now That's going to bring Brandon Wood up. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in doubles. First in batting average. And they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners. This lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient. They let the ball come to them. And then they deliver. That swung on and a liner here. Back I'm able to pull that one in. And now we've got one down here in this eighth inning of a shutout ball game. Now he's just putting on a show out there right now, Gary. Here's the first pitch. This could be trouble back behind second. And as Torres picks himself up a single. Boy, they've opened the door. Can Anaheim go through it? Not wasting any time here. He jumps all over that first pitch and rips it into center field. And we'll get to see Matt Thornton pitching as the White Sox bring him in as a reliever. I'll tell you what, this is one of the swung on and hit. It's going to be Quentin. And it gets down a three for four game. Good hitting now job. Batting, 
That's a great situation for some offense. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. It comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? Pitch on the way. And that's by him 0 1. A one for four last year against the White Sox here in Chicago. Hit hard on the ground towards third. So Kendrick is down. And a prey who comes home. Well, this is what run producers do in situations. They find a way to pick up the run any way they can. He hits into the out but gets the RBI. First pitch to Morales. Fastball just misses. 1-0. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Pauses and now the 1-0. Fastball just misses and he falls behind 2-0. The 2-0 pitch hit sharply towards the hole. It's through. The runner's going to come home. There's the throw. Safe. Too late to make the play at home. He's across. Center fielder, number 48, Corey Hunter. Well, he feel playing back in this situation. A well hit ball just getting by him for a base hit. Now, Torrey Hunter. You get a feeling watching them, they're feeling comeback fever, Steve, ball. going on here. And after that hit right there, Gary, they're making a game out of this one. They're not going down easy. You know, I didn't think we'd be swaying hit by Hunter. That gets down. The tying run coming up. Morales heading for third. Now a quick break to check the leaderboard. State Farm brings you the team's terrorizing catch-ups. Number one, the Angels. Rays in second. Third spot, the Rangers. Fourth, the Royals. And number five, the Indians rounded out. With a team leading in stolen bases, you understand what their approach is. They're going to manufacture runs in a little bit different way to try to score. Speed's an important factor. It's not only the stolen bases that help, though. It's the threat of the stolen base. It means the hitters see a lot more fastballs, too. Here's the delivery. Hit in the air to left center. Damon. That one's grabbed. Side retired. A strike for five base hits in this inning and three runs up. Angels doing a nice job as they start to work their way back. Catch a glimpse of Mike Sosha. Very happy with the run production is lineup just provided. Now the word goes to the mound staff. They got to tighten it up here to keep this ball game tied. Swing and lined up the middle, and he gets that one down. His second hit, two for four today. Time to have a look at the league leaders. Brought to you by State Farm. Extra base hits. It's going to be Przinsky. A couple of RBIs thus far. Uh, the couple of RBIs, major factors as to why they have a lead here, Jerry. Well, that sort of first step quickness, Rios is a real threat to run. They've got to keep an eye on him. Swung on, line to right field. And that'll put him on another hit. We've well, talked about a guy who's swinging a pretty hot bat right now. His third hit of this ball game, and it comes with nobody out in the inning. Now here is Mark Tia. Gary, although they have a lead, it still is fairly a close ball game right here. You have speed at second base. I might give him the green light and see if he can get over to third. And another hit back to back. The throw. Now back. Well, the pitcher's got to be thinking to himself, what do I have to do to get an out? That's now four straight hits he's given up. Now, Fernando Rodney's going to have to get the job done with the pressure on here. He's going to try and work his way out of this thing, but boy, if he gives up just one, it'll probably be a success. Now for the pitch, well hit towards the middle. Out at the plate. On to first, safe. Can't get the back end of that one. Now sometimes you make a great pitch, and the hitter just happens to be lucky at this particular time. This is one of those balls that was hit in no man's land. Not a play could be made on it. That's why he's on first base. Here is Johnny Damon. And he'll be hacking right here, Steve, with the sacks full. And he could pretty much put this game out of reach with a big hit. First pitch on the way to Damon. There's a swing and a line drive. That's one out. And the deuce, a double play. Well, they load the bases on the strength of three base hits, but no run. And we'll see the aim. Ozzie Guillen taking a look at you right there. 
Great game his club has put together. Things have gone really well. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. Chicago's bringing him in to close now. And he gets into the Angels lineup now. Ground ball towards second. Beckham. One away. Two outs remaining in this game. You're up by three runs. I think right now you just want to make plays. Don't walk anybody and catch the ball. Get out. Straight outs for runs. Here's the first pitch. Paints the lower outside corner. Call strike one. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down and away. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Jenks with a delivery. Ugly pitch. Catcher able to somehow scoop that out. And he swings and hits this one foul. Bobby Abreu has struck out a big swing and a miss. With two strikes, the hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. And Woods batting. Lifetime only 143 off the White Sox. And the first pitch. Hit on the ground. This could be the end of this ball game. And on to first for out number three. And that's going to do it. A good all-around effort, Gary, by the White Sox today. Allows them to get the win. They've got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. Now we get a recap of one of the outstanding individuals. He's our Pepsi Clutch performer. Great mound work, Jared Washington. Well, you know, Gary, you showed, he showed some signs of starting to tire near the end of this game. But that's why you have a bullpen. And he was effective while he was in there. Everything was clicking for this young man. And everyone did their job today. This is a total team win for this team. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Oh, no question about it. They get the win in a close game. A lot of excitement and enthusiasm and ready for the next one. Well, that time again, thanks for being with us today, Major League Baseball. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, and the rest of our great 2K sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks, everybody.